Right then guys, Gaffs Gaffs is back with a reveal to the ESP trick you'll have seen two days ago. Right, um, a long time ago somebody let me know about a certain item, certain trick, and I've implemented this way of doing things in quite a few tricks. It does use, let me just get them, ah, some of Gaff's favourite gimmick items, the magnets. This trick requires some ultra thin neodymium, I'm not sure about the pronunciation, magnets. Because you can see I've got one stuck on the box here. A lot of you will know what's going on, but for the ones that are new to this channel and do not have a clue what's going on, I shall show you. The top five cards have magnets. There's one in the bottom right corner on this card. There's one on the bottom left corner of this card. There's one in the middle of this card. This one it's top right and this one it's top left. Now these magnets have been disguised with the pattern of a card. Yes, you can see them, but you will get away with this every day of the week because today is the 12th, Friday the 12th. I have done this trick three times today at work, all from social distancing. And every time I've done it on site, they're like, oh, what the hell? So this is a fantastic trick. What you're going to need now, my good friend and subscriber Trinity printed this um, ESP card for me. I've realized I do not need this. The trick when I did the tricks today, because I was at work, I didn't bother showing this card. I just mentioned I've got an ESP deck with 40 cards with different symbols. So I didn't have to use this card, which is a bonus for the people that want to make this trick up without this card. So we'll just move that for a minute. Um, I've got a couple of blank cards here because what I've done in the past is I've drawn my four symbol on this. I've showed them and I say, where is this in this pack? So you've got a couple of blanks and then you've got 40 cards. Each card has a different ESP symbol drawn on it. There are 40 cards, 40 completely different symbols. So these are going to sit on the top of the deck like this. But what you do have is every sixth card. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Every sixth card in the deck is a double with my four symbol. In this deck, my four symbol is a circle with a circle. There's a little bit of double stick tape on this card, so these cards will stick together as one. So that's six. Hang on, let me turn these over so I don't get them out of order. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is another double with my circle circle symbol. So that's twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen is a double. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four is a double. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 is a double, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36 is a double, 37, 38, 39 and 40, this is a double. Because if somebody gives you the number 40, you need to count down 40 cards. Why I've got blanks in the deck as well is if somebody says the number 40, in the real world, you should be putting the last card down on the table. Whereas in this card trick, you can't put the last card down because the last card is in fact a double and um, they will see another card in your hand. So I make a point at the start of the trick saying I've got 40 cards with symbols and a couple of blanks. So if somebody did call out the number 40, I would deal 40 cards down and yes, I would still have a few in my hand because some are blanks. So how the trick works is um, you've got this magnet bottom right, left, middle, top, top. These go into the box. This magnet on the back of the box will hold cards into the box. So when the deck is round this way for me, if the magnet is in this position, which is here, that will hold one card in the box. When I take dump the cards out, there will be one card left inside the box. If the magnet's over here, that will be two cards inside the box. So my orientation when I'm looking at the face of the cards is one, two, three, four, five. 
So no matter what number somebody gives me, all you need to do is work out the next multiple of six. So let's say you're going to draw your little symbol, a circle with a circle. You will show that to your spectator and say, where is it in this packet? Just let me know. Don't even think about giving me a number. Just give me a number off the top of your head. They'll say 21. You've got to work out the next multiple from 21, which is 24. So the difference between 21 and 24 is three. You need to hold three cards in the box. So in my situation, be one, two, three. I'm going to move my magnet under cover. They won't see you doing this. You're going to move the magnets under cover. So I'm going to move it to the center position. You'll then take the cards out, dump the cards out, making sure not to flash you've got a magnet or that the fact there are some cards still in the box. Put the box aside. Um, you will have a magnet on here. But in the real world, it's invisible. So you're going to count to 21 and you can count 21 cards face up. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I can feel this is a double. So all I would do is I would just separate the two cards, put this down and go, if you'd have said 22, 23 or 24 you would have got a completely different card but you said 21 and it matches my prediction perfectly to reset this deck place this card back on top place all these back on top making sure the orientation of this is the right way around i know there's three cards in the box so this magnet needs to be around this way put all these back inside the box close up your box and you're good to go again and um, what you do need to do is place a magnet right in the bottom of the box because you need to be able to position this magnet so you can release all of the cards. If somebody was to give you a multiple of six, you need to let all the cards go. So if somebody just says six, you'll leave the magnet in the let all cards go position. Open up the cards. You can show the box to be empty at this point and just deal to the sixth card. That's one, two, three, four, five. The sixth card will be a double. You're going to separate it off the top and it will be your prediction. So it's just a case of magnets, multiples of six, and this trick will work every time. Let's say, for instance, I give you the number 15. Oh, no, not 15. Say 12. The next multiple from 12, no, it would be 12. Let's say 13 then. No, 13 would be 18. Yeah, okay, we'll say 13. The difference between 13 and the next multiple of six is 18 is five. So you're going to move your magnet to the fifth position, which is one, two, three, four, five. Slide it up there. Dump the cards out, making sure not to flash this and deal down to the uh, 13th card. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is a double. Peel it off. Thirteenth card is your fourth card. So that's how it works, guys. I hope that was clear enough. It's just some magnets. I just got a, a blank deck. I drew the pictures on myself. Um, I did ask for some help, and my friend Trinity printed this for me. So I still I do use this card, but when I'm at work, it's just simpler not to get it out. So that's how I did the ESP card trick. Comment, subscribe, like, guys, for more reveals. And yes, Gaffs Gaffs is back. Nice.